It's a little bit warm on the farm today, but it is a nice one. So I'm just introducing the cows to Juliet in a um, controlled environment. Well, kind of controlled. Um, she's over there running around a little bit. Let me show you. I think I'm gonna take that yoke off of her and just leave her in here for a little bit. Cause that yoke might um, be the end of her. But I wanted to introduce these cows over into this area that Juliet's been because Juliet does not eat this grass. But I'm hoping these cows will knock it out. What do you think this huge, huge bug is right here on these cows? I don't know, but I don't like it. So in a previous episode, I brought up the idea of freedom of thought. I didn't explore it much because, I don't know, I got sidetracked doing other things. But freedom of thought, how do you obtain freedom of thought? I think that it's a question that if we can answer as a society, we'll be a lot better off. For instance, freedom of thought um, of worry. You know, I think that a little bit of worry is healthy. Like if I'm concerned that the cows are going to get out, I'm going to pay a lot more attention to the fencing. If I'm worried that um, my child is going to touch the electrical outlet that I just installed and haven't put a cover over yet, then I might uh, put more emphasis on um, putting a cover over it. However, if I worry about someone in some other country and a situation that they're in that I have no control over and can't influence at all, that to me is unhealthy worry. And that to me is not freedom of thought. If you are captured by that thought, if you're captured by um, any kind of worry that you have zero control over, then that to me is captivity. And that's what I like to try and avoid in my life. And so oh, I love I love seeing cows and, and animals just kind of in their natural state, just going and eating and having a good time. So freedom of... Uh, yeah, I think freedom of thought is so, so awesome. And, you know, what about if you're concerned or worried about what someone else is going to think or say or do um, because you've done something? You know, what do you do in that instance? Because that's real. That is real. And what do you do if you're worried about that? One thing you can do is go and talk to them and try and figure out what exactly they're thinking. Now, you're... Um, liable to not get the full truth because they also are concerned about what you're thinking. But think about what freedom of thought means to you. Because if you can gain freedom of thought, you know, then you can choose what you think about. Look at all these chicks. You can choose totally what you think about. You're not held captive to the um, bombardment of fear, of anxiety, that riddles so much in the world today. So what do you do if you're held captive? by thought. What do you do if your insights turn and churn because you are held captive by thought? You're worried about something, you um, are maybe addicted to something which is causing your brain to um, need or want or have a strong desire for a substance or something like that. That's not freedom of thought. Freedom of thought is, hey, right now I'm going to think about this regardless of the other outside circumstances that are plaguing me. I think freedom of thought will mean something different for each one of us. You know, it, um, it uh, depends on our circumstances and our, our uh, life situation. I think that, uh, like I said earlier, a healthy concern over someone else is um, much better than not having concern over anybody. And so having a healthy concern, uh, uh, something that you can um, take action upon and, and help, I think that that's extremely valuable and very, very healthy. Uh, but freedom of thought, you know, ponder on it. Think about it. Are you held captive by your own thoughts? Are you controlled by your thoughts? See, like this dude right here. I doubt he is held captive. Are you held captive by your thoughts? Do you worry about a lot of stuff? Oh, it's bright here. Let me turn the angle. You know, are you held captive by anything? By your thoughts? Right now, buddy, I'm talking about having freedom of thought. Do you think you've got freedom of thought? Well, 
Because he doesn't know, I think that he really does. You know, what would you worry about? What thoughts would plague you? I think that as Jesus taught, we need to be more like children. And very few children I know run around worried about anything. Like, do you know of any kid that's worried about what they're going to have for dinner tomorrow? Nope. They're worried about what they're going to have for a snack right now, not what they're going to have for dinner tomorrow. And if you focus on the present, then you won't worry as much about the future. Now, we still need to plan for the future, but we should not worry about it. We shouldn't fret about it. We shouldn't go sick over it. We should be prepared for it. These are just some ideas that I've had in the episode of Finding Freedom Philosophies. Let me know what you think, and I hope that you find freedom of thought in your life.